Good evening, Master County. I'm County Manager Rod Honeycutt, and tonight I'm joined with Charlie Zink and Ryan Cody. In a minute, I'll introduce them and ask them to give you a couple of information about the area they're here to talk about tonight. But first, I want to give you an operational update. Today, we continued rescue operations and search operations along the French Broad River. Tomorrow, we will complete address verification of every address in Madison County. At that point, we will transition to sustainment and rebuilding on a full-time schedule. Today, we also received our FEMA specialist, Chris Ballone, who will be with us for the next 30 days to help our county recover. In the next couple of days, we'll put him up here with us to have a discussion and that more information on where he's going to house that and the communities that he will serve us. The outpouring of our volunteer support today was overwhelming. We cleared out our distribution warehouse. We had over 700 county residents visit our warehouse today. It is great. And it's also great to see the number of wellness checks that our first responders, our fire department, and our public safety officers completed. Checking on our citizens is priority one. Now, tonight we have Charlie Zink here. And Charlie's going to talk to us, I think, about USDA operations. Yes. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I work for the Farm Service Agency. We've been an agency since the 30s, since the Great Depression. Uh, we provide disaster assistance uh, along with other programs. But uh, we're interested in disaster assistance programs tonight. Uh, the first one I want to mention is the ECP program, which stands for the Emergency Conservation Program. That will help farmers uh, rebuild uh, cropland and uh, farmland back to a normal state to where it can be utilized. Then we have the emergency uh, forest restor restoration program, which uh, helps with farmers who have forest land that was intended for timber production, help them uh, rebuild those back. Also, we got the farm, uh, farm loan program which uh, farmers can apply for a emergency loan and the, the loan rate is 3.5% fixed uh, and it will help with uh, such things as uh, if you got a farm culvert that is blown out or a farm bridge uh, and you want to uh, replace it, it'll, it'll give you some, you can get some funds through that program. Uh, we've got two other programs that I would like to mention. It's called the uh, livestock indemnity program. That would be for anybody who lost livestock due to flooding or, or you know, they may have even had a tree fall on it. Uh, there's a, that program and farmers can uh, apply for that. And the last one is the ELAP program, Emergency Livestock Assistance Program. And uh, that would help farmers who lost feed products such as they had rolls of hay near a, a stream or near the river and got washed down. Uh, and you know, as we're coming up on winter, they need to have that uh, hay replaced or have some money to buy additional hay. And uh, we can assist in getting them some money to, to provide that information. Right, Charlie, is there a phone number or a website where someone could reach out and talk well, to you about it? Well, as of right now, our phones are down, uh, but they can email me uh, my, which I'm working from home because of this. Uh, it's Charles, C H A R L E S dot zinc at USDA dot gov. Uh, our phone number, when it gets operational uh, back up, it'll be 828 649 2712, extension 2. Uh, and, and we'll be glad to uh, field any questions if, as far as farm related. If you don't mind, we'll put that on our opening slide here that everybody sees and yes. make sure we get That'd the word green. out and disseminate that information. All right, so right now across the county, we're entering a lot of contracts. Uh, we're lucky tonight to have a contract person with us here. So, Ryan, if you will, a few minutes on our contract. Yeah, so I'm Ryan Cody, the executive director for the North Carolina Licensing Board for General Contractors. And, uh, you know, what, what we want to talk about tonight is, is making sure that you do hire a properly licensed contractor uh, during your, your time of need. Uh, you've already been a victim of, of storm damage, and we certainly don't want you to become a victim a second time due to a fraudulent or unlicensed contractor. Um, if any project exceeds $40,000, North Carolina General Statute requires that that contractor be licensed. Um, 
you know, projects under $40,000 do not require a licensed general contractor, and we highly encourage people to hire licensed general contractors for those projects. Uh, one of the advantages of hiring a licensed general contractor is they have passed an exam to show that they are competent. Uh, they have filed an application with our board, um, met financial requirements, and had a criminal background check. So they've been verified, and, and you can rest in, in more comfort that way. Um, if you need to check to see if a contractor is licensed, you can go to our website. It's www.nclbgc.org. Um, you can search and verify that license there, or you can contact our office at 919-571-4183. Um, we would advise people to be very wary of door-to-door -door scams. Uh, if someone comes by door-to-door -door seeking or soliciting you for, for money for a project, um, get it in writing. Make sure that they give you a written contract with a detailed scope of work. Make sure they give you their license number. If they have insurance, make sure that they give you a copy of that. Uh, we just want people to be vigilant during this time and, and be prepared when they do begin the rebuilding process. You know, it's unfortunate we're a time when we're most vulnerable and people will prey on the county, you know, trying to pad their pockets instead of taking care of the citizens here. So I appreciate yeah. you giving us that information. Sure. Um, Madison County, the weather's about to change. Uh, we know that next week we're going to have temperatures getting low in the 30s. Uh, with that in mind and with the whole situation, we have transitioned uh, one of our county phone numbers into the Massey County Helpline. And I ask if you have a family in need and you know that we've got this cold weather coming and we need uh, shelter, warm clothes and coats, uh, food, whatever the, ne the necessity is, please reach out to 828-649-1955. Uh, today we had a lot of phone calls and there's a lot of outpouring. And I don't want us to lose that momentum but also wants to keep an eye on this weather next week as we take care of each other. Gentlemen, any last remarks? Anything you want to cover? I, I would like to say that uh, Farm Service Agency will be holding a sign-up starting October the 15th uh, for some of these programs. Uh, and uh, you'll, our office is located on the bypass on, at 4388 US 2570 uh, in, uh, in Marshall. Uh, just feel free to, to come uh, then, or you can call us. Okay. Over the next 48 to 72 hours, you will see National Guard troops uh, in both Hot Springs and Marshall. I ask that you consider, uh, when you see those guys there, that they've deployed here to help us. Uh, thank for the service. Let's thank all of our volunteers for the service. But it's good to see that National Guard uh, team come in here and there's also been a great pouring from the French Broad Baptist work crews. Uh, they've been down in Marshall. They've been all over the county really helping us. That's just another, there's a lot of organizations out there uh, that we want to thank. And at some appropriate time in the future, we're going to get everybody together uh, and show that we've rebuilt Madison County. Madison County strong. Madison County, God bless you and God bless the United States of America.